I analyzed over 25,000 job positions that were posted in last 12 months for data analyst and here are the top 10 cities these jobs were posted in. So, the way I script this is I use the help of Jobrite team. They help me script the data. I also use bunch of other AI tool and I script bunch of job boards. So, these are the actual real job boards that are posted in these cities. So, that's why they are ranked based on the number of jobs that were posted in that particular cities. Now, of course, there were a lot of them were remote available. So, I've excluded or i've given the points to each cities if they were completely remote otherwise if they have said new york then i've given points to new york so i know last time when i made this video for top 9 cities for tech job roles a uh, lot of you gave feedback in different different roles and data analyst was number 1 and uh, let me know what other roles would you like to do would you like me to do and please comment it and based on the number of comments etc i'll make the next different role for different cities so what i also got the feedback is that can you include average salaries and the cost of living breakdown so i am going to do that but here is a caveat i have the average salary range for that city for data analyst role but i also have a cost of living and here's how the cost of living is calculated it is rent for one bedroom apartment assuming you are living solo if you live with you know roommate then this will go at least half of that lifestyle cost that includes your groceries eating out occasional travel maybe one day trip weekend trips etc and car loan assuming it's not a luxury car loan and your health insurance so that is comprising of cost of living this should help you understand a little bit more about your situation what salary and the city as well ready let's start with number 10 and trust me you want to wait until number 1 because lot of them are going to be surprises over along the way it is good for everyone to know that there are three cities which were on number 10 first is la california raleigh north carolina and houston texas so these are the number 10 cities and average salary goes from $70,000 to $95,000 $95,000 was the figure that i saw lot in la side and then raleigh side was roughly 80,000 and houston was 70 to 80,000 so again just keep in mind cost of living in these cities ranges from $1,600 to Twenty-four hundred dollars. Again, Houston is the cheapest. Raleigh is the mid-level, and LA is the most expensive. Lifestyle cost, like I said, this will be on an average from twelve hundred dollars to roughly sixteen hundred dollars. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that Houston does not have any state income tax, so that keep that in mind. Car loan and health insurance will be roughly seven fifty dollars, and this is common. Seven fifty dollars for car loan and insurance, because it's five hundred dollars for car loan, and then insurance is roughly two fifty dollars. So, those are the cities for number ten. Let's move on to number nine. Washington DC. Yes, average salary is gonna be anywhere from eighty thousand dollars to hundred and five thousand dollars. Rent is roughly twenty two hundred dollars. Lifestyle cost is going to be thirteen hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars, and like I said, car insurance and health uh, car loan will be seven fifty dollars. DC is well known for cyber security, public policy, government tech, ed tech. Uh, so there are a lot of analytics, data analyst roles available in DC. So. that is another good city to be in and by the way if you are also in job hunting phase and you need an extra help and support come and join our ultimate job hunting course and community if you become the part of the course you also get the community for absolutely free when i say community you get to be part of the actual community platform but whatsapp group including me we have bunch of seniors we have bunch of alumni uh, we have people who are data analyst uh, we have some of them who are working in meta and tesla and some of the people who have gotten in walmart uh, go check out link will be in the description i would love to have you i teach in ultimate job hunting course uh, resume building all the strategies and it is irrelevant of what role you are applying because it is the job hunting strategy that i teach to get you that ultimate internship or your full time job so come check out let me know if you 
have any question about that in the comment section but let's move on to number eight which was a tie between charlotte north carolina and dallas texas average salary is seventy thousand dollars to ninety thousand dollars and cost of living is fourteen hundred dollars to seventeen hundred dollars seventeen hundred dollars was more for Dallas area, 1400 was more for Charlotte area. Lifestyle cost is going to be anywhere from 1100 to 1500 dollars, depending again of your lifestyle. And then 750 is for car loan and health insurance. Now, Charlotte and Dallas both are well known for fintech, healthcare, and logistic analytics, and also supply chain analytics. I am going to make a separate video for supply chain analysts, so wait for that. I know a lot of you requested that role as well. But let's talk about number seven, which is Boston. Again, um, Average salaries from $80,000 to $100,000. Cost of living is expensive, $2,200. Uh, I mean, sorry, rent is going to be roughly $2,200. Lifestyle cost is going to be anywhere from $1,300 to $1,500. And then car loan and health insurance is another $750. Again, Boston is known for biotech, healthcare analytics, fintech. Uh, there's also a lot and lots of like platform-based products over there as well. AI is booming as well so it has a lot of uh, coverage in different different fields and a lot of data analyst roles in that field let's start with number six which is austin texas there are like three cities from in the top 10 from texas like austin dallas and houston crazy average salary was seventy five thousand dollars to ninety five thousand dollars cost of living uh, rent is roughly seven seventeen hundred ish uh, lifestyle cost is going to be anywhere from eleven hundred to thirteen hundred dollars car loan is again seven fifty dollars uh, including insurance and austin is actually very very booming um, they have tesla as well uh, now and there are a bunch of bunch of uh, tech sectors like uh, supply chain AI, marketing tech, marketing analyst, and all of that. But number five is Seattle. Uh, average salary was $85,000 to $110,000. Yep, it's going up. Cost of living is also very expensive, $2,000. And again, this is solo living. If, um, it could be slightly low if you're depending on if you live in like Bellevue or Bellevue or Redmond. So if you go in a remote areas, it might be like a little lower, but Downtown Seattle will be expensive. Lifestyle cost will be $1,300 to $1,500 and car insurance and car loan is $750. Uh, Seattle is obviously known for cloud commute, computing, uh, e-commerce, tech innovation, AI, um, healthcare as well. So that is where you'll get all the data analyst roles. Number four is Atlanta, Georgia. In all of my list, Atlanta is there, which is very interesting. Uh, average salary is anywhere from $70,000 to $90,000. Cost of living, uh, rent is roughly 1,500-ish, um, so rough 50, 1,500 to 1,600. Uh, lifestyle cost was lower, 1,100 to $1,300. And then car loan and health insurance is $750. Atlanta actually have a very, very strong uh, fintech market, logistic market and healthcare market. Number three, uh, which is not a surprise because that is also where my headquarters is or my company's headquarters is Chicago. Average salary is $75,000 to $95,000 interesting um cost of living is actually very high um 1800 to two two thousand dollars this is for rent lifestyle cost is twelve hundred dollars or so car insurance and loan is 77 50 dollars now chicago is very diverse when it comes to data analysts because it does have fintech finance logistics supply chain so healthcare as well and uh, aero a lot, a lot of aerospace as well so uh, interesting uh, place to be it is very expensive so pick your choice number two i am assuming uh, you are probably wondering whether it's uh, new york or bay area it is actually bay area <laughs> and not new york bay area did have a lot of jobs in an al data analyst position this changed drastically in last six months. If you had asked me six months before, Bay Area was actually, you know, number six, uh, which is kind of surprising. And now it came back up because, you know, the peak hiring season, this is one of the other thing that I teach in my ultimate job hunting course is like, what is the peak hiring season and when you need to be ready and all of that. But 
peak hiring season uh, like the bay area started to take over those numbers average salary is anywhere from $95,000 to $120,000 cost of living is also very very high rent is going to be anywhere $2300 to $2500 this is not san francisco i'm talking about fremont sunnyvale san jose like slightly you know suburbs um, but it is there $2200 to $2,500. You can also get like $3,300 apartment, but I'm averaging this out. Lifestyle is going to be $1,500 to $1,800, depending on how you do live your life. Car loan and health insurance, uh, sorry, car insurance is $750. Bay Area, I mean, I don't need to talk about Bay Area. Silicon Valley, any and every kind of AI jobs, a lot of startups, a lot of tech giants. Of course, all the big fan companies and Netflix and Apple and all of that. So, so I don't need to kind of go into that. And obviously, you know, the number one is New York. New York actually has the most amount of jobs when it comes to data analysts. And it did beat Bay Area, um, at least with like 1000 more jobs, which is crazy. Average salary is actually lower than Bay Area, $85,000 to $110,000. Rent is $2,600 ish if you live alone in New York. Again, if you go to Jersey City, etc., it might be slightly lower. Lifestyle is uh, $1,500 and car loan and health insurance, uh, sorry, car insurance is $750. And New York is known for marketing, media, uh, finance, um, business, entrepreneurship, AI, lots of lots of AI. Um, so yeah, I um, mean, it is also ultimate destination for a lot of data, professional data role, data engineer, data scientist as well. So those were top 10 cities. Let me know which other role would you want me to cover in the same format? and if you have any other feedback please let me know that as well which city would you be interested in moving into let me know that as well until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling you gotta hustle every single day